Hey, I just got done failing the college exam, so that was awesome. Hope you all enjoyed this episode of CSGO News. It's going to be a great episode with FaZe, Tico, Olaf Meister, JW, and a huge announcement from FaZe and Twitch TV. Hope you all enjoy. Let's get right into the news. Let's get right into the nudes, J Jake. <laughs> no. First up in today's news, we have a few updates coming from Fnatic and Na'Vi. As you all know, Fnatic JW announced two days ago that Olaf Meister will officially not be participating in DH Malmo or DreamHack Malmo. And because of a wrist injury, Fnatic still has yet to announce their secondary or their stand-in player with just six days until DreamHack Malmo begins. So they're cutting it really close with that one. And quote-unquote from actually JW's stream this morning, which I tuned into, he said, it's not a player you know of. We want to give someone a really good chance of coming into the scene. So it's not going to be someone we know of, apparently, according to JW, which is pretty exciting to hear. Coincidentally, Navi's very own opera Guardian has also been experiencing some wrist injuries. Um, his actually was acquired. The team said they came out and they actually played football. We don't know if it was actually soccer or American football, but Navi Guardian Guardian actually injured his wrist playing football with the team. Apparently, that'd be kind of funny to see a reenactment of that. Wait a second, I'll do one. Hey guys, can't wait to, can't wait to play football with all of you today, you know. Can't wait. Should be fun. Let's let's go. Hey dude, Guardian, catch! And that's probably exactly how Navi Guardian actually injured his hand playing football. You never know. And also in other news, DreamHack Malma, they will not be practicing with him until then, which is going to be a big thing for him. Um, but he still will be playing in DreamHack Malmo instead of Olaf Meister, who's actually sitting out for the whole tournament. And then, of course, what's CSGO news about a little tweet from Thorne? He first off says that, of course, without Olaf Meister or Guardian and DH Malmo, that the pressure is on Luminosity to win. And I totally agree with him. Luminosity expected to win this tournament or at least place highly. But Team Liquid also expected to do quite well. And then Thorne also pointed pointed out that during MLG Columbus, Navi Guardian actually was playing with three times his normal sensitivity, and that is crazy to think about. My sensitivity is already like 1.7. I can't imagine going above five. I don't think I could even see straight. Then in bigger news, and probably the reason why you guys clicked on this video, we actually had JW tweeting at FaZe Tico in Swedish, which was translated in one of the replies, don't you try it. And just an hour later, apparently it seems that FaZe Tico did indeed try it, as he actually achieved a 50,000 like goal on his previous video, and went all in on CSGO Wild for a $6,300 bet, and he lost it all. Good game, and like literally good game, because he lost to a guy named GG, which is kind of ironic. And bouncing right back to JW, it seems he also went all in betting skins and lost to Hades TV, who actually tweeted at him he'd been waiting all day for this. For more proof, we're waiting on this to come out, but apparently JW lost big as he tweeted back at Hades TV saying, Haha, you ripped me. Good game. Well played. And the last story today is a huge announcement from Face It and Twitch, who have actually partnered up to host a new global league called the Esports Championship Series, otherwise going to be known as ECS, which will pay out $3.5 million over the course of two seasons, not just one. And I'm a little confused here if it actually includes 10 teams total total or 20 teams total but I know a couple of those are actually invites and the other ones were actually uh, invited to play round robin to actually qualify for the tournament so a huge announcement I'll make sure to leave links down below about this there is honestly just so many leagues right now for CSGO so many matches going on these teams are really gonna not have any off season you know similar stated on Twitter earlier there's no more off season now you go from one league to the next a lot of money in the game right now gonna be interesting to see how this all plays out and what teams really perform in the moment all year long. And that's really all I have for you guys today for CSGO News. A lot of things coming up in the future. Again, there's a lot of assignments that I'm doing and a lot of products I'm working on for CSGO News, but I don't want to get into them right now because they're really sketchy areas, but I will be coming out with them soon in the future and also some more CSGO videos as well, such as cheap skins, expensive skins, and also my CSGO funny name tags episode. And also, you guys have been awesome lately. If we can break, I know this is kind of be me being like a douchebag, if we can break 50 likes, I will wear a suit for next episode of CSGO News. Hope you all enjoy. As always, live, love, laugh a lot. Remember, I like you. And if you guys like the skit, let me know down below. I can do more of those skits. I know it was stupid to some of you, but hopefully it was kind of funny and enjoyable. As always, goodbye. Okay.